Hello everybody, how are you? We're over here at the apartment building where they're doing the roof job. As you can see here, they're still getting her done. A lot of roofing here. And we're working at unit 32. Um, we're putting in um, a new closet shelf and pole. The painters ripped it out when they were here for some reason and um, didn't put it back. So we're over here, we're gonna get that done. What we're gonna do basically is we're gonna get, a, we've got a height of a shelf. They want it 70 inches high, the top of the shelf. And then the rest will just fall underneath it. Anyway, I haven't got my laser level. Bob suggested that I get that laser level and I was going to, but it just, Forgot, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use my old level right here. All right, guys, we're gonna get in there and start putting this together. Let's see if we can pop these out real quick. Uh, where are they running? Oh, they're tight, oh something's think. screwed up. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, it's this the thing. It's positive. Oh, oh no, look at the bend right here. Let me get a picture of that before we even touch them. No, take your light away. Let me see. Yeah, better. Um, okay, we're gonna have to fix the array. Maybe it's a plastic guide, but we'll have to oh, fix it. Oh, it's not put on right, yeah. It's not put on right. Yeah. Okay, we'll get that out. Um, let's see, why don't you get the drill down and um, I'll get it right now. loosen those screws up and we'll get that out. We're gonna have to reset it anyway. Okay, what we got is a little problem with the doors. Um, the plastic guide is messed up in here, and I'll see if I can get a little video of that. Hold on. Looks like somebody got a little rough with it. This little guide right here is. Um, let me see if I can put a little light on it. You can see right there that plastic. Got, yeah, point to it. Right there is out of whack. So That's we're gonna have to, and it's bent right there for some That's reason. Nice. These are brand new. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put my other little light on here. Go ahead and um, then he's gonna loosen the rollers to drop the door so we can get the door out of there. Let me see. Let me see. The, um, the metal plate. This metal plate is stuck in this little thing. Oh, I see. He's going to have that open position. Yeah. Oh, we get a screwdriver and just tap it. Okay. Let me see. 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 Let me you want more? I'm not the screw. Uh, yeah, we just need to get that up in order to clear. Yeah. No, that screw's fine like that. That's what I was asking. What we got here, guys, you can see this door, you know, it's in a kid's room. And as you can see, it's already it brand new, but uh, it's wedged. It's bent up here. And that thing is wedged up there. Probably been slammed open a few times. And we can't get the door out because this is wedged. And stuck in so we got to tap that up and then we're gonna have to fix the slide on it so it goes up and down freely and then we'll readjust everything but we'll do that at the end of the job this one's just fine but we got to get this guy up in order to get it out so Alicia is going to get my other tools The other thing we can do is just take the roller off. Yeah, let's just remove that. Remove the roller. There you go. That works. We got it, Al. 
Okay guys, we got the same issue down there. Is that flapping? Normally we could do this with, with the doors on, but the fact of the matter is the doors aren't working right, number one. Number two, we want to give you a good video, the best video we can give you. So, the doors are going to go. And this issue has to be repaired anyway, so. Both rollers on this door will not self-adjust. Is that on your end now? Try to get this roller out. Oh, well, it's got a little clip. It's got a hook. I know. Here. There we go. Cool. Let's go. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me find a spot for this one. I here. think on the side over here, just leaning on the side. Like All right. Here. It'll be good. The other Where's one? Where's the other roller? The other one. Right right as long as you have the screws? I do. All right, then we're good. Okay. Okay. Let's get this one out. Oh, let me get a picture yeah. of that stuff down there. Yeah, me too. Um, that's what's happening. See, the other, the other door, the first door is screwed up and it's tearing up the second door. So that's why we want to fix it anyway. Good job. We all know that. We all know that goes on the inside, so. Yeah, come on with that. I'll be Okay, yeah. All right. I can put it here, Vince. Let me have it. One spot. All right, so uh, management wants the top of the shelf being at 70. Um, this is really bothering me in my eyes. Up, yeah. There um, let me see here. So let's go ahead and let's hit 70. You got a pencil? Up? I do, here. I brought one too. Yeah, it's work. in the bottom. Something else. Like. Okay, then you're going to do the same thing you did at the other four, 70 right here. Give me a pencil. So go ahead and get me a line here and go all the way around. You know what I mean? There you go. I just want to measure something here. You bought one four footer, uh, one eight footer, right? Correct. And it is, so that'll work. We're good. Mm -hmm. All right, so he's going to go ahead and draw me my line. The finished top of the shelf is going to be at um, uh, probably 70 and a half or whatever we're going to use our uh, line to put our um, supports first and then we'll go from there How we doing? okay that looks good all right so if you want many now get the stud finder outside and let's find these studs i'm, all, I'm gonna only put like two braces i think one two Somewhere. But you'll need to find all the studs. Keep keep the marks right under the line, please. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna use the other stud finder. Okay, yeah. I got this um, new wall about you've probably seen them on TV or whatnot. The bathroom's over here and we were getting weird readings with that stud finder so we're going to try this one we've calibrated it already um let's go ahead and see i'm going to do it upside down where i can see the line so let's just start over here and we'll see what we get okay do we have to recalibrate okay what's that say pipe wire okay it says pipe or wire so we don't want to go there of course, we know we got wood. stuff there. Metal we got wood stuff. there. So there's the wood there. We know that. Okay, so now let's just keep going. Okay, wire. There's a wire. Wood. Okay, let's go back. Right there. Go a little bit to your left. Right there. Wood. Wood. There's middle. Something to do up here. Forget that. Marked it, right? Yeah. Somewhere in there, 
Okay, we got one on the end here. So we're, we've got enough to get this job going. The only cool thing that I like about that one is that you can actually see if you have any types. Okay. So or I'd rather use this. Wires. I'd rather, you guys that are watching this, I'd rather use this to find my studs. This is a Costco brand. And the wall about to verify there's no wires in the areas that we're going to go because, I mean, I did everything the way it said. And it's giving missed signals and it's missing things that this is picking up. Yeah, like this one. This is there's no this doesn't show as a stud, but this one will show like a stud one. Right. Boom, stud right, right there with the heat. And then I go here, there's yeah. no stud. So I guess no what I'm saying is I like this, but That's just to better. verify there's no wires or no pipes, we go with that. Can't be too careful when you're dealing with other people's property. This one will come handy, like when you're on a TV on the wall yeah. about the fireplace, and you yeah, have and those you wires, wires that they go there. through yeah. that stud. So you want to make sure when you screw on the stud, you don't have no wire behind between. That's right. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go get our wood cut. Um, let's measure this. Vinny, you want to write down some numbers? Ellie, you want to hold this tape measure, or who wants to write? Who wants to hold? It? Okay, hold it. 85 and a half. Okay. Okay, let's go cut that one first, and um, we'll go from there. Okay, cut that one to 85 and a half. You can put it across here if you want. Anywhere you want. I don't care, wherever you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. I would Pencil. lay it on some flat, though. Whenever you're measuring, you don't want a bow in it. Pencil? Always when you're measuring Vinny, make sure your space, gap. your gap is the same. Because if you're off, you'll get a little more or a little less. Your blade is already set, right? The way Good you enough. Set a screw back, Mom. Screw back. Okay, go try that, guys. Okay, so let's just see if it fits first. There it is, perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and split the difference on the sides and let's go ahead and put a screw on somewhere on one of the middle studs, like right there, Vinny. Mm -hmm. This is and gonna go we'll on level. the line right yeah, here. Close right as you can to the line. Okay. It doesn't Let me have get to be, a um, freaking the ladder. Doesn't have to be perfect. Max. No, the shovel's gonna be perfect. You don't really need it. I can see it. It can be a little higher. Little lower. Lower. Grab, well, if you're gonna grab a ladder, grab a screw, screw gun with a screw. Okay. Give me. That way, we can do it. We, we don't even need the ladder. You can see the line, man. Just put it on the line. Let's get this out of here. Okay. Put it on the line the best you can. You don't need a level yet. Just put it on the line. Okay. Put one screw. And remember, we're putting the screws on the. Look over your hand, please. We're putting the screws on the, the bottom, right? Because we don't want to interfere with the, the um... top. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Right there. Okay, go ahead. Put Check one screw. Do you want to put a level on it? No. Put one, no, no, uh, on middle. the center. On the center. Here's right. a stud right here, my thumb. Yeah. Your best. But you don't want it in the. You want to put it on the bottom. Yeah. Right here. Because okay. of the bracket angle. There we go. I think we're good here. I can put a level on it. Another screw. I think that, what size was that? That's um, two and a half. Too long. No, two, too long. Too long on the hair. two inch right here. Oh, this is a two inch on my hand, you know the... No, it's, it's, it's two inch and a half. You want two inch, right? 
Yeah, the one you gave me is two inch. No, that's a two inch and a half. This is a two inch right here. Okay, show me the one that you just gave me. See? Mm. One thing I know is the screws. Jesus. See, those are in two inch. God only knows about nuts and bolts. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, where's my set? I'll do right here. Right, um, well, I'm gonna do one and one. With a level, if you'll see it. Let me see where this okay, right there. Right there. Okay, we'll go. One of okay, the other. No, I'm gonna do that first. Okay, cool. Let me get through the level. Okay, bring the level this way, all the way to the end. Okay, let me know when you're good. I think I'm good. Okay, and. Put one on the end over here. Take a little. Uh, did we do those yet? Yeah, you pretty good. Okay. Okay. All right, looking good. Good job, guys. So now let's get the measurements for the sides. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get the measurements. Put one right here. Here. Yeah, put one right there. Okay. Now let's get a measurement here. Okay, how about. 36 and a quarter, please. Let me see if this side is the same. 36 and a quarter will be fine. Two 36 and a quarter pieces, okay? Do you have a tape measure out there? No, I'm gonna good. Do that. Yeah, always use the same tape measure to measure whatever you're. Okay, so do two separate 36 and a quarters. Suckers. Here, get this here. Oh, here, get another drill. That way you have to. You don't have to do it. Set it up. Like that. Even on the top. It's easier. We're going to get more of these two inches. Can you give me one uh, right here, Vinny? One. Let's get yes. one in the middle. We're just going to put them in the middle here. We don't need much here. There you go. Uh, Pre drill. Okay. Do you want me to put a level on it? Here. Alright, you're good. It's gonna hit right in the middle. I think you should What? So let me level it. That's crooked. Well, it's just a, it's, it's fine right here. Okay. Right there. And then as long as I get one, then we'll Just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Is that it? Hold that wood for me. Okay, now you can do two things, Benny. I need you put your finger that. on top of here. Yeah, that's fine. And make sure it's flush and put your level at the same time. And you go ahead and get this done. Do your pre hole, drill your pre holes. And. Um, Sometimes, when you're putting in a piece of wood that's wide, you know, 11 and a quarter wide, the measurement from here to here, when you come out 11 and a quarter, yeah. could be different from here to here because of the wall. Correct. So if you don't want to have, if I cut it just from here to here, and then this wall opens up a little bit around here, 
it's going to miss the wood mm -hmm. and you're not going to be sitting nice and flat on this wood. You're going to have like a big gap as, as the further as it goes out because these walls are not always straight. So if we take two measurements, if we take two measurements, um, if it happens to be the same, we're good. If not, we change it up a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so put 85 and three quarter okay. for the one. And now let me um, bring it out about 11 inches. I'm going to show you right. Ends, right? 11 inches is about right there. Okay? So just kind of look at that and bring it over there. I can do it for you. Oh, I'll lay there real quick. Okay, now, okay, okay, now put the blade straight. See the curl in the blade? I don't yeah. want that. Okay, now I'm going to kind of pull it tight. So, okay, 80, 85 and three quarters will work the same as the other measure. Yep. Yeah, remember on the other wall, it was, yeah, it was, it was opened, up. opened up and we cut it and it would sat nice, yeah. even though it was opened up. Okay, on this one here, what did I say? What? 85 and three quarters. quarters. Yeah, let me just verify. No, to the back wall. Yeah, okay. Go ahead and cut me a piece, 85 and three quarters. Okay. Well, usually you cut it with the good side down. Then. Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah, so go ahead and look at the trash in the line. Well, no, it's going to be on top. Nobody's going to see it. Cut it with the good side down. Okay. Transfer this line to here. You can do it right up here, Bobby. Okay, dude. I told him over. Flip it over. I'm just going to remake it. There you go. 85 and 3 quarters, right? Get yourself some of that out of there. That way you don't have no work. Basically, I'm making them remark it because you always want to cut with the good side. Hey, your tape measure is not straight. We start looking like the three guys, three stooges. The three stooges. Check that again. <laughs> anyway, I was telling them you should always cut with your good side down because the blade rips like this. So you want to keep the chips coming this way. If you cut with the good side up, then all of a sudden you're going to splinter the finish on the other side. It's all going to be 85 and three quarters in the end. Don't hit no walls, don't hit the ceiling, don't make a fool out of us. We already look like the Three Stooges. pre-drill all the holes because okay. we don't want no splitting but look go ahead and put one every six inches So maybe Vinny, can you just hold that? Oh, this one doesn't even have it, so I don't have to worry about that. The pole goes right through that. It's this that I have to worry about. Here, Ali, hold the tape measure in the middle. You take that underneath this board. Well, I, I think what I'd like you to do is do it here, like just put it under, right about right here. You'll put the tape measure onto there. 
And let's see if we can hold it right there with that. Cool. It doesn't have to be. You got it? Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking. I'm going to go right underneath the wood. Like this. Yeah, let's do that. Underneath the wood. Okay. Right underneath. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no. Hold on. I meant this wood, so I was really okay. we're not Well, crooked. I'd rather you bring it down to there. Okay. So like this. No, not under it. So you on want top on the of wood? It. Yeah, right there. Okay, I'm on the wood. Okay. So 84 and a quarter. 84 and a quarter. Yeah. Let's try that. Start off with the See? sticker. Yeah. All right, guys, we have this pole here. Um, get a measurement over here that way. And what did I say it was? 84, 84 and a quarter? quarter. Okay. Put the tape measure straight on top. There we go. Okay, take it to him. Look right there. Got it? Where's the mark? Okay, I'm right here. Alright, go ahead. Let's do, Let's do that. Let's do that. What side do you want this? Two inch? We got enough room. Look at that. Barely. I don't even think we got enough room. We're gonna have to shave it. Look. Okay, anyway, let's get one Screws. side in. Give me the pencil off. Here. So let's just get one side in here. Whatever that's gonna be. Can you screw that in? Yeah, I can. Okay, there okay. you go. I can do that. There you, you go. go. Too. Yeah, but then if it moves and stuff. Beautiful. Okay, let's try this side. Did you want me to feed it in first? Yeah. Just like that. Okay, I might need to trim this. I don't think we're going to be able to get that in. We could try it. Okay, let me just mark oh, it first. Right. Yeah, you're not going to. But go ahead and try. Stay up there. And drop it in. No, I mean, go ahead oh, and screw it, it in. Yeah, okay. go ahead and put it in. Prints out and let you tell me what everything is. He was an um, apprentice, and in fact, he was doing more than an apprentice job. Before. Thanks. 
Okay, let's see if we can get it in there. Maybe with a little effort. Uh, we're kind of low on that. Come <laughs> on, bend it. Yeah. No, you know what? Cut it. Um, well, wait, wait, wait. Bend it. Uh, That's open. Right. Like it like that. You bend down, I bend up. You know, I don't know about that. I you think I'd rather it, cut it. Because we break it, we're going to be going to Home Depot. Home Depot. Yeah. So what do you want to cut it, though? Just take it outside and I'll shave it. I'm just going to shave it. Shave it? Yeah. The mom's razor blades? Huh? The mom's razor blades. That looks good. Looks good? Yeah. Okay, what she's doing now, she's putting screws in here to hold the poles. And I'm not as detailed on this video because I've got another video where we did two closet door, two closets, and I was very detailed. Um, this one here, I'm just kind of, what she's doing here, she puts a screw here for the pole, and she's putting screws in the supports here for this. Vinny's already put the screws up there, and we've got our pole um, supports on the end. And now, if Alicia will go around with the lightweight spackle and just, uh... Okay. Nice. Look at this. These rollers, guys, these rollers right here won't slide in the channel, um, both of them. Uh, I think we're going to have to maybe put some WD-40 here and here and try to knock them down without breaking the plastic roller somehow. Okay, let's um, get the one door that is working uh, installed. That one's going to go to the back. Okay. It's now. I'm in one, I believe. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm in one too. Now guys, when you, when you install closet doors, you have to pick a side. Like, do you want the back one to go to the right, or do you want the back one to go to your left? Because all these jams, are screwed up they're not straight so you have to level out for instance let's just do this since we're here if you notice the gap down here show them the gap down here see how tight it is there but as it goes it goes up there we're gonna fix this door so it goes to the left side and then you just tell the tenant you know hey it goes this way and that way give me the screw gun and I'll fix that you'll watch as I close up I make the adjustments on the back mm -hmm. on the rollers I'm going to close that gap up by bringing this end up. Let me know when you see it go up. How's it look? It needs a little more. Right there. Right there? Let me see the bottom. It needs a little more. A little more. There. Okay. Check so, it out. Here's the thing. Now your gap is straight 
here. But now if you swing it to the right side, you'll see the gap is not going to be straight over there. You've got a closed it's gap up there, there, but down there it's open. So with that being said, you always pick a side. The, the, the back door is going to be the left side, and then the outside door is going to be to the right. And, and that's just the way it goes, because there's, unless you want to even it out where you have a gap on both sides, you can do that, but most people will pick a side and you adjust the door so it fits perfectly. Now we'll fix the rollers on here, you can tell. and then we'll adjust the outside for the right side. We're going to try to get this so it now functions in here, and we'll go from there. Okay, let's see if we can just kind of tap this on both sides. You shake this? No. Okay, it's starting to, let's get some WD-40 in there. Want me to do the same photo? You want. Okay, now she's starting to move. Okay, so the best thing we can do is just put them up like that, and then we'll use the screw gun to we'll put some on here. There like we go. That. Okay, so let's put some on here. Okay. Okay, so now with that done like that, let's just get them. That should get, that's enough to bring the door in. Remember, we mm -hmm. just need a little. So let's get these mounted back on, okay? And then we'll, we'll, we'll use the screw to adjust it since we lubricated it, okay? okay? So go ahead, and you know what you did to take them off, so just do the reverse and put them back on. Do you guys think the uh, pigs at top um, yeah. guide? Yeah, on the top one over there, we're just gonna remove it because the other one's off. Oh. I see the orange screw there. Uh, Might as yes. well make them the same. It's right here. The other one's been broken off, so let's just take that one off. Okay, let's stand that door up, Benny. Did you take the plastics off? Yeah, I took okay. them off. The top guides. Hold on. Let's walk it in. I'm just going to put that in over there just for now. I'm going to put your hand in. Okay. I'm in nine. I'm in nine. Okay, so let's just go ahead and let's adjust. Okay, guys. The drill's behind you. Remember what I had mentioned that we've got the left, the inside door to the left, and the outside door is going to be adjusted to the right. It needs to be So dragging. first we got to get it up because we're dragging a little right bit. Right there, the drill's on the counter. So you want to bring the camera? Yeah. Want to bring this one up? Here, bring it that way. Are we going inside? Yes. That way mm -hmm. can, uh, the adjustments. You can close that up if you want. Okay, first of all, we're just going to get it from dragging here. So, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay, go on this side, Al, and help me adjust the door on this side. Okay. I want. Okay, let's see here. Okay, I can see it needs to go up. If you notice, there's a gap down here, but no gap up there. So, uh, about right there. So now, as you can see, the cap is pretty straight. Can you go so, look at it from the other end? Let's go look at it from the other end. I think, uh, yeah. So, the cap looks see, good. It's good. Yeah, so. Cap looks good, don't um, Everything's looking good. All right, well, let me see here. It's, oh, it smells pretty good. I remember when we came, it, was, it wasn't that even working. All right, make sure we don't forget about it. All right, everybody, we're done here at 32. By the way, this is not us right here. If you guys see that, that's nothing. Look, that's, that's somebody's paint. I think they were painting the walls. That's the same color as the wall. And they got it all over the place.
So let's just head that way. They want me to hit the alarm. Did it work? Let's just check again, make sure we leave everything. Well, I appreciate everybody sticking with us. Especially to the end if you did. Sometimes this stuff gets boring. These guys are busy. I think they've been here about two weeks now. They've accomplished a lot because there was a lot of dry rot damage in the fascia boards. And they've been All these pull signs Alicia put up. They made all brand new pull signs last year, last summer. We were here right in, I think it was this month of May last year, putting up all the new signs. Uh, yeah, I think it was the month of May, we had them for, ready for the summer. Uh, and then they have electrical short, right where you see that rock. Uh, there's a outlet by that owl and there's an outlet towards the pool right in the same line and then on the wall over there there was a short in between there we had to dig up and then we put those supports for the umbrellas if you look by the table in the lawn chair you got those aluminum supports they have an umbrella that goes on them and you swing them over they take them off during the winter and put them back on um, all right, let's go over here and see what they're doing. I guess they're gonna roof this last. It's all patched up over there where the photo cells are. Hey, Vinny. You remember about a year ago or a year and a half, you helped me and mom build this, this enclosure? You came after work on your union when you were working union and helped us put this together. And I got all the poles sunk. All right. Let's see. Oh, look guys. Look at all that charcoal. We were at Home Depot this morning buying materials for today and tomorrow. And they had our favorite charcoal on sale. Uh, saves about three dollars and eighty cents, almost four, almost four dollars a bag. So four times eight. So $32. we bought eight bags, so we saved thirty-two dollars. Hopefully that'll get us mostly through summer. We'll see. Um, bag, bag a week. Yeah, bag a week. <laughs> Sometimes we do that, especially with chicken and um, hot dogs. Yeah, meat. yeah. We we fire up that barbecue, that old Traeger. We we um, gutted that Traeger. And, made it a charcoal yep yeah so there's alicia getting everything put away here hold that for your mom let's, hold that. Let me, uh, let's see over here okay so we can pick up our cones what'd you do with the other cones the other the the cones on the deck We use we use these little soccer cones. These aren't soccer cones. These are these are Tory cones. We found them at a, the the birthday party or something. But these are soccer cones or field cones. The reason why we use these is they're small. Number one, they don't take up much room. Um, they're a lot smaller than these big guys that we wouldn't be able to have quantity. We need a lot of them. Sometimes we're taking up, you know, a lot of space when we're hanging doors or doing something near apartments and we need a lot of them. And we like the fact if somebody's walking by and they trip on it, it'll collapse. The, these field cones are made to collapse. If you fall on them, they collapse and nobody gets hurt. 
and um, so we like them for that reason as well. So. Move those two right here, son. Son? Of a, a beautiful woman. Son. son of a beautiful woman. All right, guys, I guess. Um, all right, everybody, I guess that's it for today. We had one other job to go to, but the lady says that she woke up feeling sick and her kid's been sick for a couple days so we don't mind that if somebody's sick we don't mind passing you know because whenever i catch a cold or something I, it brings me down i hardly ever get sick but when i do i end up you know having to take two or three days off work which i hate to do because it not because of the money i mean i'm retired and actually i retired four or five years ago and i got bored and you know losing my mind just staying at home i ran out of projects to do at the house and so alicia says well let's just go back to work in a limited way and that's what we've done we're real limited and um, nothing big um, i used to have three or four well i had eric i had four guys and one that would come on um as we needed um but i actually had payroll on four guys and um now we're just doing it ourselves and having fun doing it so with that being said i don't mind passing on a call it's not no more really about the money it's just about being able to have something to do you know i i, I if i could stay home i would um, and enjoy retirement but i still have katie who's real young still in high school so it's not like i can really travel yet or do anything like that so um, I'm just going to keep plugging until I can't plug no more. So, well, hey, thanks everybody for hanging out with us, and um, we'll catch you on the next job. You guys want to say know. goodbye? Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> when I tell you guys to say goodbye, you guys better treat my YouTube subscribers a lot better than that. Bye. Bye. <laughs>